Hello Wolves! So today, as you can see from the title, we're here for my Believeathon TBRs. This is a readathon hosted by the GavGav7 on Twitter, Instagram, etc. Or also Gavin Hatham, Hath, Hatherington on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names. He's also on Goodreads and on Wattpad. I will link his channel down below so you can have all the information. This is a readathon uh, taking place in November, so a month-long readathon. And it's all about reading middle grade books and you know that I fell in love with middle grade books recently thanks to Jade over at JD Rebreeds. She's one of my favorite booktubers. So he created something like a document uh, you can see on Google etc etc. It's really well done because you have all the prompts. Obviously you don't have to do all the prompts. The fun is that you will actually maybe discover middle grade books because you've never read any or not anymore and maybe you will read like 10 fantasy in November and two middle grade which is fine and that's the point just you discovering some more middle grade books amazing middle grade books because some people feel like it's for kids but actually it's not they're really well done so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna go with all the prompts because I, I usually don't do good with readathons i want to say but we're gonna see all together because yes i didn't prepare it so we're gonna do it together and it's gonna be a mess as usual but you're used to it so let's go there are four prompts required four books required but really i'm sure that it will be fine if you only read two books if middle grade is not what you usually go for but i'm gonna try to pick then four books four prompts and then we have a group read as well but does that count as it's on top of that right yes and on top of that there is a group read so i'm gonna go for five books so let's just see which one i'm gonna go for so the first prompt i will go for is actually read a book featuring myths and legends and for that i'm gonna go with the horse with chicken legs by sophie anderson uh this is a story that i know by heart i mean the original one let's say because i'm from boston slovenia and we have stories uh similar to that one so this book this story let's say has a special place in my heart so i really hope i will enjoy that one and as the title says it there is a house with chicken legs that moves around and the person living in that house never knows when the house is gonna move so i really love it it's so cute so yeah then read the book with a strong sense of friendship and for that i'm gonna go with the Polar explorer club by alex bell it has been recommended so many times by jade so i will finally get to it i don't even especially know what it is about exactly but it says here when stella joined the Polar Bear explorers on an expedition to the icelands her eyes are open to a world of danger adventure and snow pirates out in the icy worlds there are giant yetis uh, magical golden geese, terrifying carnivores, cabbages, and important new friendships to be made. Join the explorer on an unforgettable adventure across the ice. For fantasy, this is really my thing now because thank you Jade for actually making me discover that what I loved because I knew that I loved any wintry setting etc but I didn't know it was actually in genre. And there are even middle grade that are power fantasy so what more could you ask? read a seasonal book so a book that matches the season so winter so for that i'm gonna go with the wolf princess by catherine constable i think you say constable whatever it has snow on the cover so this is absolutely seasonal and wolves and apparently it is darker than it sounds it is a mix of fantasy mystery thriller also russian folklore and you have some historical fiction in it because this is basically the story of sophie and her two friends find themselves abandoned on a train they are rescued by the glamorous princess anna volkonskaya who takes them to a winter palace and mesmerizes them with stories of lost diamonds and a tragic past but as night falls and wolves prowl sophie discovers more than dreams in the crumbling palace of secrets so it really sounds cute and i mean it sounds more thrillery, mystery than cutie, but it has walls and it has snow, so of course it was made for me. <laughs> Read a book set in the past, and for that I picked The Lost Magician by 
Pierce Torde because it's actually taking place in 1949, no, 1945, sorry. They have survived the blitz, but when Simon, Patricia, Evelyn and Larry step through a mysterious library door, it is the beginning of the most dangerous adventure yet. They discover a magical world where the stories of the library are locked in an internal war. The children's only hope is to search for the magician who created them, for has been lost for centuries. So it sounds awesome and I found it, it was half price and it is signed by the author. So I cannot wait to read it. Then we have the group book which I don't own because it's on its way and this is Frost Heart. Can you see? Yes! And I'm really excited about that one because first the cover is gorgeous and then he picked that book and then after that it was picked by Waterstones to be the book, the children book of the month. So I'm super, super excited. And it says here, in a world where strongholds are scattered through the snow sea and monsters live among the snowy wastelands, a young boy named Ash unleashes his powers and saves a crew abroad the frost heart. Banished from his stronghold, he joins a colorful cast of characters abroad the frost heart and an epic adventure to find his missing parents. So that's all I had to tell you about this reason. I'm really excited about it because I'm getting back to reading after one month of non not reading at all and starting with middle grades just warms my heart so much I don't know why just because middle grade is most of the time it's cute even if it can be very creepy and scary and super mesmerizing um I really cannot wait to read them all and especially because let's be honest middle grades are sometimes faster reads so I really cannot wait let me know in the comment section if you will be participating in that readathon if yes what is your TBR? Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section. And until next time, take care, wolves. Bye.